10 fashion mistakes that are not classy. They're never classy and why you should avoid them. Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz and today I wanted to go over 10 uh, fashion choices that you may be making that are just not classy. So today we are not going to cover uh, fashion faux pas or any kind of personal grooming mistakes, any wardrobe uh, malfunctions, you know, panty line, camel toe, bra showing, none of that. That will be a different video. Today this is going to be more on style choices and why you should avoid certain ones. And this is really important, I think, because the thing I love about fashion and style, personal style specifically, is that it can be a real pick-me-up. So it doesn't matter if you're having a bad day, if you're not feeling well, if you are going through an illness, an injury, weight fluctuations, you can certainly kind of pick yourself up, pep yourself up with the style choices that you make for that day. It certainly does have an effect on your self, your mental and emotional state, and then how others kind of interact with you and perceive you as well. So it is important. And I would like to throw a little quick disclaimer that uh, personal style is personal. Um, these are my suggestions. Nothing works for 100% of the people. So if you do some of these things and it works for you, great. So take what you like, leave what you don't. Uh, there are certainly some things that I even do that would be considered not classy, but they work for me and they work for my style. And so you may find that as well. But if you're interested uh, to see or hear what I think are 10 non, not classy things you should always avoid, then just keep watching. Not classy choice number one would be opting for embellished stockings. I've seen these on and off throughout the years. They kind of seem to be like getting popular. This is something I would avoid. Uh, I, I don't think they ever look classy. Can some people pull them off? Yes. Uh, are they classy? No. Um, I just don't see any occasion where that would enhance your outfit. Um, I don't see a work setting, a uh, going out setting. Uh, I, I just don't know where you would wear them that it would make the outfit better. But if you disagree with any of these, <laughs> comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Style mistake two that is never classy is ripped denim. Um, we could argue on the amount of distressing that would be acceptable, but overall a uh, beautiful, well-fitting uh, denim, you know, any denim, denim jacket or denim pants are gonna look better, not ripped, not distressed. It is a look, it is a style, I do understand that, but I would argue it's not a classy style. And fashion or style mistake number three that is not classy is gaudy jewelry. And this is gonna be just anything too much, too big, too much. And you know, it's a fine line and statement piece. I love a good statement piece. So I think this can be pulled off if you're gonna opt for one thing. So either a large earring and that's it, a large necklace and that's it but when you start doing the big earrings the big necklace bunch of uh, bracelets I just think that can look very not classy uh, you may argue there are some uh, fashion icons out there who do do this and pull it off and I would say that's part of their personal style um, I would say day to day if you saw somebody just a regular woman walking down the street with all of this I don't think you would immediately think classy so i would say that's not classy and to throw myself under the bus <laughs> something that is not uh considered classy is maybe too many rings and i do like to wear a lot of rings i actually don't have too many on today but um that is something i like to do too many rings can be considered not classy or a really large hoop which that is something i like to wear as well so that's what i'm saying i uh you know do some of these things that are considered not classy but i think if you you mix them with other classy pieces the overall vibe can still come off classy it's really just almost too much of any of these is really what the problem is all right and style mistake 
that number four that is not classy is barely their clothing uh overly old-fashioned sexy i guess i would say like just showing too much skin and too much of all your goodies <laughs> Um, there's nothing wrong with showing off your parts and being proud of your body and wanting to look sexy, but for sure a barely there mini dress or a complete see-through outfit is just not classy. Um, you can certainly pull this look off with, you know, a fitted longer dress or just showing, you know, uh, boobies or legs like not both you know and so i think that again it's just balancing it uh, maybe wearing a more fitted top and a looser bottom so again all about balance it's not that you can't do something it's just don't go overboard because it then turns into a very unclassy look style mistake number five is the opposite of the last one and that is wearing oversized clothes. If you only wear oversized clothes, it can certainly come across as very frumpy, very, I, I hate to say like, like homeless person looking. Um, it is just not a good look. Um, and if you like an oversized look, there's a way to style it so that it's not just draped over you like a tent. So definitely avoid just a plain, you know, oversized top, oversized bottom, um, and running out the door like that. It is certainly not a classy look. Style mistake six that is not classy is wearing worn, uh, kind of tattered clothes. And this could be anything from the things I have seen are worn necklines. Uh, some people do not like to get rid of their shirts when your collar's worn and yes, cotton can wear out. Uh, it's time to replace it. Uh, also things that get holes in them, stuff that is stained. Uh, once it is beyond repair, you just kind of have to let it go. Do Style choice number seven <laughs> is wearing platform stilettos um i know some uh petite ladies like to wear them uh and they do give height and i think that if no one's like really paying attention or it's not super standout-ish it can be done but in general a a shoe with a one two three inch platform and a three four five inch heel just is not classy it does not ever look classy on any outfit I'm not gonna tell you what I think it looks like, <laughs> but I would not opt for that. If you like a, a really high heel, I just think there are other classy choices to opt for instead um, that kind of give a more streamlined, fluid look. Um, certainly just, there are even stilettos that are very classy, very elegant, but I think the platform with a really high heel together is just not a classy, look style mistake number eight that i do see a lot of women doing and and it's not even necessary because there's so many choices nowadays um, and that is uh not really putting much thought into your purse your handbag uh that you're carrying for the day uh, it can look very unclassy to have an old tattered or even mismatched to the vibe that you're going for kind of bag um, there are certainly, again, so many choices at all different price points. So I'm not saying it has to be all leather or hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars uh, to get a beautiful look. There are lovely, lovely choices out there. And I think just being mindful of that is really important because a improper bag choice can bring your whole outfit down. You could be wearing a lovely suit, a beautiful dress, and if you're carrying your old everyday bag with that, it's gonna bring the whole outfit down. Whereas if you're wearing a t-shirt and jeans and you have a gorgeous purse, it brings the whole outfit up. So it, uh, your purse, your handbag is a really easy way to elevate your whole outfit. So. Be mindful of that. Choose something that elevates you. Um, it's just gonna make you look more classy. Style mistake number nine that is not classy is being too trendy. 
too trendy, either all logoed out or just totally into a crazy trend can make your whole outfit look not classy. So it is fun to follow the trends. I love to, I love trying new things. It's great to add in kind of modern twists to your outfits um, just to refresh it. So it is fun, but be mindful to not add too many into one outfit, sprinkle them across the whole month. Um, and along with this one, a bonus one, is the opposite of that, and that is not adding any. So if you haven't updated your wardrobe in you know, 10, 20 years, it would be good to add in something. You, you don't have to go for all the trends, you know, season to season, year to year, but maybe keep an eye out, and maybe even if you only add one or two things a year, over time you will have a more modern outfit as opposed to just sticking with whatever you wore 10 years ago or even 20 years ago or even longer and style mistake number 10 that is not classy is under dressing and i would say not even for an occasion but certainly for an occasion certainly for whatever event you're going to and even for the day um, I am a big fan of not saving special pieces, not uh, not getting dressed for those close to you and around you, and you know not showing up for yourself and caring how you look to yourself. And so I am. I, I just think it is unclassy to uh, just wear loungewear every day or athletic wear. Um, I certainly think there are enough comfortable clothes that don't look like, you know, pajamas, loungewear, athletic wear, that you can be comfortable and stylish and look classy um, every day. Okay, those were my 10 style mistakes to avoid. If you want to look classy, hopefully you found this helpful and entertaining. If you did, please consider giving it a like so that YouTube will press it out to more ladies that it may potentially help. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. It's free and it's fun around here. <laughs> I wanted to thank you so much for dropping in and spending some of your time with me. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next one.